Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today we are going to look at a forensic tool known as Red Ripper. Red Ripper is an open source tool that allows users or forensic analysts to extract specific information from Windows registry files. To download Red Ripper, there is no official site where you can download this tool from. However, I did some research and I found an official link to the actual application. So please feel free to pause this video and go to this link highlighted above. Once you are on this website, all you have to do is select clone or download and download the zip file. Once this zip file has been downloaded, all you have to do is extract it to your desired location and run the execution for executable file. Once you have extracted this file, these are the options you're going to get. So we are going to select the RR application. And this is Red Ripper. Now this is all of the application itself. This is the user interface. And as you can see, you have an option for high file, report file and profile. Now the high file is where you will insert the actual registry file and the report file is basically a txt file or a notepad location where the extracted data will be stored and under profile depending on which registry hide you are selecting you will you will basically just select the appropriate one to begin with we will look at we are going to look at one of the registry files known as SAM. Now SAM basically contains user data on the evidence file which is once again the hunterxp.eo1 file. So we are going to simply browse to these registry files, example registry files and insert SAM. The report file we are going to call it sam.txt and profile we are going to select once again SAM. Now these registry files are available online however I will be linking these files in the description box below should you want to use the exact same ones. So the next step will be to simply rip it. So once Red Ripper is has extracted the relevant information all you have to do is open the files. The first file will always be a log, which basically is some information about the past plugin files. But the file we are looking for in, in particular is the second one. Now, this, as mentioned, is information about the user. So we have, for example, we have a username admin and that's the user ID for that admin. Um, we have no login counts for admin. We have a guest account. We have help assistant. And most importantly, what we are looking for is the actual user, so Bob Hunter. Now, Bob Hunter is the main user on this evidence file, and that's the user ID for that. We have the account type, which is default administrator. Uh, we have also a login count. We have the last login date, so when this user was last active on the computer. So that was within this SAM file. This was information regarding the user data. Next, we are going to look at the software registry hive. Once again, we are going to do the same process. We are going to browse for a hive file. We are going to go for the example registry files and we are going to insert software. We are going to put, we are going to create a new location for the software log file. So software. And we are going to, since this is now the software hive, we are going to change the profile from Sam to software and once again we are just going to rip it and almost instantly the log files are there so we are going to open up the software log file 
and we are going to inspect this further and once that is complete this is the result that we get as you can see we have the actual paths to some of these applications that have been installed so we have windows media player we have some internet explorer connections also we have some config system 32 information we have some system root and with this within this file you will this it will contain details of applications that have been installed and certain dlls which are um files belonging to specific applications and the final registry file we will be looking at is actually not a registry file but it's a file that is specific to a user and that is also in the example registry file so we are going to select go and browse example files and this empty user dot that and we are going to open that we are going to create a new to use adopter and we are going to select this for desktop yes and we are going to select into user within the profile drop down menu and we are going to select rip it and that is going to create a log and once that is done we are going to simply open this and basically this is all the data specific to a user now this has all the last written times for certain applications that were open for example adobe reader we have some names of users and if we just scroll down to the bottom we have some more information regarding certain users that were on and other applications that were executed alongside their times last written times we have here so we have covered how to insert files into red ripper and how registry ripper actually extracts data from registry hives and user files and presents them in txt files where you can actually filter down and find specific data regarding users if you guys do have any questions regarding red ripper please feel free to contact me i would be more than happy to answer any questions thank you very much for listening